Hey everyone, it's me Suchita. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing absolutely fine. Today in this video, we are going to convert or we can change this rejection to selection. Yes, many of you were asking, you know, this happened with me also. That's why, you know, I'm able to resolve this problem. And today we will uh, like, you know, resolve it together. Uh, many of you are saying, Suchita, you know, uh, when I went for the interview, I answer aata tha. But when the employer asked that question, I was not able to answer spontaneously or yeah for like you know the thing because of lack of communication you were not able to make the sentence properly and bolini by what exactly answer aate hue bhi you were not able to speak maybe because of the nervousness lack of communication or maybe spontaneously wo mind was strike hi nahi hua and when you came back home yeah, you were thinking like you know ye bol diya hota so for the, all those problems we are going to solve today by uh, like you know following certain steps so Let's start today's video. First thing is practice with mock interviews. This was new for me. I don't know how many of you are aware about it. क्या होता है ना like when you go for the interview, you realize how the real interview will look like, and then second interview में you learn. So instead of learning from your failures, better to learn from the mock interviews, right? So like आप pre board exam के लिए prepare करते board exams के लिए, right? So what you were doing, you were giving pre board first, and then आप sample paper you were practicing with. So same way. when you are going for the interview you must have to practice 10 to 15 or maybe 20 mock interviews now you will say where we can practice and who will practice uh, like you know with us when we are preparing for the interview so here i will display the websites i will try to attach a screenshot and i will also put these links in the description box so on these websites you can attend the mock interview and uh, you can like you know same time better i will say put a, a phone over there record when you are attending the mock interview so that you can understand the body language also because see when i make my videos after uh, like you know when i'll edit i'll see my body language okay aise baitha acha nahi lag raha tha and this pose was not looking good so that is the way when you will attend the mock interviews on these websites so you uh, put a camera forward or a phone and just record yourself how you will speak and how your expressions are changing on your face nervousness is looking so all those things so i must say do not go uh, to the interview without preparation attend the these mock interviews and prepare yourself see your expressions and then judge how you are uh, like you know looking in front of the employer so uh, imagine when you will attend the mock interview you should imagine you are sitting in front of someone unknown so that that fear will come and if the same thing you repeat again and again when you will go for the real interview you will not feel the same nervousness so the first best tip which worked really well for me is the practicing the mock interviews second one is prepare at least 50 interview questions now how this will work are these 50 question you divide into two parts 25 question and 25 questions so the first 25 questions you will prepare general questions like you know tell me about yourself your studies and how was the experience with the last institute how you uh, like you know explain your teaching methods pedagogical skills or many you will get many of this i have made many videos on the interview questions so you will write down I I must say, do not just listen to the videos. You must have to sit and write down 50 questions. So 25 we have done with the pedagogical and the general question. The next 25 are the subject-based interview questions. The subject which you are going to teach, and for that you are going for the interview, you need to write down 25 question related to that. Means the definition of that subject. For example, I am going for a science interview. What is science? What is uh, in science? We have three: physics, chemistry, biology. What is chemistry? What is biology? What is physics? okay how a science lesson look like what are the success criteria of a science lesson how you will uh, develop interest uh, of students in your class in a science class uh, about lab so you should judge related to your subject what all questions are possible and write down these so these 50 question you should learn by heart so when the employer will uh, like you know ask even though the communication skills are poor still the uh, words will come in your mind because you prepared the answers now you can uh, use the lines from here and there to is them and you can like you know speak so that communication problem will also get resolved here in the second tip 
third one is gather information about the institute now you see this when you know how the institution is looking like and what all subjects they have what all classes they have how many teachers are there so how many labs they have how the infrastructure is looking alike so by reading all those information you should uh, get an idea what kind of question you can expect what salary you can ask uh, from them so you will get an uh, idea about the market reputation of that institute so if you will do a background study so even though they will ask a question okay how much salary you are expecting so you should know what exactly you can ask for and what they can give it to you so accordingly all these information will help you to ask these kind of questions or answer these kind of questions fourth one is body language now when it come to the body language uh, many things come under this first thing you should be confident now you say so to the how the confidence will come see preparation will bring the confidence if you will follow the first three steps so the half of the confidence will come from the preparation itself you should you should trust yourself that i've did the preparation i've given my best and now i'm ready um, now whatever happen it's fine i will understand that is out of my skill right apart from that the day of interview drink water not that much that you will feel like to go to the washroom in between of the interview but uh, drink a uh, proper uh, like you know amount of water and as soon as you reach the institution use the washroom and come back make yourself comfortable why because water has like you know uh, h2 right Ox it will provide oxygen to your brain so it will give a full efficiency or a power for the brain to react to the spontaneous questions apart from that eat proper meal do not drink so much of coffee or uh, like you know caffeine any tea just lead, eat a balanced amount of food with uh, like you know proper water which will make your brain to work efficiently not too lazy not too active just a middle uh, like you know normal uh, spontaneous action you can take maybe they will ask question which you never heard so that time that spontaneous reaction will only matter right so you should be prepared for that apart from that take full 8 hour sleep i know many of you are not i know my one of my colleague if she has any interview any test she is not able to sleep the whole night so that you should avoid if you will uh, not able to take full 8 hour sleep then half of the mind will stop working there only you feel tired you will not able to act spontaneously or other like you know in your face they can see uh, that sad and tiredness so better show yourself presentable and active and take full eight hours sleep uh, prepare take tension of the preparation so you are preparing uh, 10 to 15 days before the interview now that night at least uh, try to i know it's not easy but you can at least practice that right take out all the thoughts and throw them okay kal nahi hoga to it's fine like if you will not get selected it's fine i will see this is not the end of the world so that night you should calm yourself talk to someone who can give you positive vibes and or or watch my video <laughs> i must recommend watch my video so that you will get little confidence and calmness uh, like you know in your brain and then you go to sleep last but not the least the person who is sitting in front of you the employer is a human being and he also have done many mistake in his life he also have learned from his uh, like you know mistakes and he is also not a perfect person he also struggling and doing a job in that institution right so he or she is not a god like you know who is expecting you to be perfect we are human being and many of the people are earning crores and we are not able to go reach there because we have certain like you know uh, abilities or skills so that is the thing keep in your mind if they are calling you you have they have seen your cv so they know you are capable enough for that post so keep that thing in mind and uh, prepare yourself go confident do not try to fake anything if you don't know good english say it clearly and then start your interview say i'm not so good in english but i'll try to manage and communicate in that and i'm able to do the basic communication jab aapne wo bol diya that fear will go out okay if, if that person will uh, like you know able to judge because these people will able to judge you anyway right they understand uh, from if you try to or pretend to or fake something so be genuine you have certain skills they like your cv be confident and trust your preparation and go this is not the end of the world there are thousands of opportunities around and you will get the job anyway do not worry today or maybe tomorrow you will get the job so go calm relax and confident and go and attend your interview i hope this video will help you 
to prepare for your interview and give you some amount of positivity and calmness and which i'm passing on to you and if you get selected do post your comment in the comment box or if any tip you know that that also you post here so these are the videos you know i'm raw i'm making uh, with my experiences and i really want to know from your side did you like certain pro tips or like you know these kind of uncut raw videos which i'm making just by thinking about my scenario and my experiences in my small teaching career that's all for today's video i hope you really like the video if you like the video for whatsoever reason give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and join this teacher community let's make this community stronger big and so that uh, we can support the and you know wherever any teacher in any corner of the world needs support we can do it because we are all together here and joining hand and shoulder with each other that's all for today have a nice day bye bye